guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Leanne and I'm a homemaker and my home just happens to be an RV. My family and I have been on the road for just over a year, so I thought I would share how we decorate for Christmas. So I guess we'll start in my bedroom. I don't do a whole lot in here because well, I just don't want it too Christmassy, but I did get this blanket. I picked this up at TJ Maxx and I just left my pillows the same, but reversed them. <laughs> so there's like rainbow on the other side and I just thought it looked better with this blanket. So, um, so I just did this and a couple decorations my little angel that my mother-in-law made me years ago and some cinnamon pine cones so now we will go into the kitchen or i guess what, i'll show you the bathroom first actually i didn't do a lot in here either um i just did some christmas soap got this at walmart by the way and this it's a new one and then some cinnamon pine cones and this whole combination when you're standing here and you smell the cinnamon and wash your hands with that amazing and then i usually have just a, a macrame wall hanging right here and i want to i think i want to do like a wreath or something different here but i just hung up this ornament so that i could have something christmasy in here so, and then I think also I'd like to get a wax warmer that's Christmassy, maybe next year. So now we'll go into the kitchen. My kids are playing Monopoly here, so that's why there's this mess. Not a whole lot right here. This is our freezer and I just put um, just a Christmas um, thing on here. And my little Santa and Mrs. Claus salt and pepper shakers. Then some little magnets that my grandmother made when I was very little. A lot of my stuff is just stuff from my childhood and stuff from my husband's childhood and then that my kids have made and stuff that we have done together and then just things that I like. So I got these at Walmart and the fact that they're a little mitten, it's just so stinking cute. I can hardly stand it. but. And then I picked up this other soap at Walmart also. That's, it's apple and it smells amazing. All these little Christmas scents add up together to be amazing. Nice candle, got this at Walmart also. And then if you watch my shorts, you already saw my hot cocoa bar. And this, by the way, I have this SVG in my Etsy shop. If you want to check the description down below, you can check out all the SVGs I have in my Etsy shop. And then we put some lights, a little bit of lights on the slide, kitchen slide. And then just some tinsel. That tinsel is usually on that tree, but you can see it's small <laughs> with a lot of ornaments on it and to put the tinsel it's just a mess so we decided to put the tinsel on the cabinet this year so there's our tree and this was a dollar store tree i think i want to say dollar tree but i'm not sure um and it has the uh what do you call this fiber optic lights like pre-lit so and then a lot of the ornaments are all from my childhood like I said my husband's childhood and then stuff that we've made that star um, I need to get some new batteries for it but that is from when I was a kid we had that on our tree and uh, the little one decorated it so it's definitely definitely packed but I'll show you what it looks like with the lights off really pretty actually I really like it look how it changes colors in this bucket with cinnamon pine cones which is making it smell so so good in here a little Santa pine cone you saw my my fall decorations on this and I was gonna go buy some different stuff for this but as we got into the ornaments I was like oh my gosh I could just put this stuff right on the 
the tiered tray. So that's what we did. And um, this little guy, the snowman, I love him. He's my favorite. I had him up there last year and he fell off and broke a little bit on the birdhouse. Oops, it's out of focus, sorry. And anyway, the tail on the little bird broke a little bit too, but these trees I picked up at Walmart, very cheap. And then um, like this stuff is all old ornaments from when I was little, old wooden ornaments. And I think they were maybe my dad's when he was little, cause some of them are really, really old, but <laughs> not that you're really, really old dad, but you know. And then I have a Christmas countdown and there's our chalk so that we can change it every day. We have this star, this lights up. It looks really nice in the nighttime. Got a snowman up here and some trees, little Santa. <laughs> crazy looking. Some stockings for the dogs. And then let's see, I'll go over here. Hi, Moosey. Oh, maybe I should turn on the light in here. Kind of bad, huh? Okay, that's better. Now you can see a lot better. Got my little Santa and Mrs. Claus that my grandma made years ago and wood sign with little Rudolph. I made this <laughs> and I got, I usually have uh, succulents in here, like fake succulents that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I picked these up at Walmart. I love them, they're so pretty. And just stuck them in there so I have something Christmassy in there. And then all the stuff that I usually have, um, like up there I have my home sign that it's the United States silhouette and says home in the middle. That's usually what's there. And then I just switch it out. So like my box that holds all my Christmas stuff, I put the stuff that's usually up in there so that I don't have stuff just <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so that's just my box of ornaments I haven't put up yet. Christmas quilt that I made a few years ago. And in here, I usually have um, some fake flowers. I think I put uh, lavender in here usually. And then you saw um, what I did for fall, which <laughs> I ended up not liking later. I thought it just looked kind of crappy. So next year I'll do something else, but I really liked this stuff. I got these and this at Walmart. This was actually a big bouquet and I just cut it up. So, and then cinnamon pine cone. And then I took some command hooks and just hung our stockings up there. The TV comes up and out of there, which is fine. But we, when we put it up, we do have to kind of fold the uh, stockings in <laughs> so that they don't fall off or go over the TV. Um, but it's not, it's not that big of a deal. I like it. Last year we hung them up here and it was just sort of annoying. Like when you sit on the couch to have them hanging in your face. It was kind of annoying. And I can't really put them in front of the fireplace because we use it in the winter. So that's, I feel like this is the best solution for the stockings. I do love my little snowman, little nutcracker snowman. And this box, this is all my office stuff. I don't, I need an office. I need a desk. What I really want to do is get rid of a couch and put a desk and a chair in there, but my husband won't let me. So maybe I'll just keep working on him. Anyway, this box, we usually put like pajamas and snacks and stuff in there for Christmas Eve. And Christmas Eve, we open that up and just kind of have a pre-Christmas celebration. And then um, this little tree, man, I can't remember where I got this. I think it was Family Dollar. Something like that. I don't know. I loved it. And the only thing I'm missing is my nativity set. I don't have it because the pieces of mine are very, very small and um, I didn't want to lose them. So they're actually back home in storage.
I have a lot of Christmas stuff. This is just a fraction of what I usually put out. But of course, you know, living in the RV, we have to do stuff a little different. <laughs> You'll see two videos on the screen. One is some quick dinners that are really great for this busy time of year. And the other is a recipe for Christmas crack the best Christmas candy ever, you have to try it. But before you go, for my fellow RVers, I have created this shirt, it's in my Etsy shop. You can either get the SVG and make the shirt yourself, or you can order the shirt straight from my Etsy shop. That there's an RV. <laughs> and if you know what movie that's from, leave it in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed, and we'll see you next time. What movie is it from? You don't know? No. What's it from? Uh... It went on vacation. Are you kidding me? It's from that particular movie? What movie? Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Why? Why would you do that? That is like the most inappropriate one. <laughs>